commence in the next couple of minutes. In fact, our chief guest, Honorable Shri Sharad Pawarji, has already arrived in the premise, and currently, as I am told, he is paying a field visit along with live crop demonstrations. Thereafter, he will be inaugurating the exhibition. The exhibition has been divided in three parts. There is a trade one area, trade two area. The difference being in the trade one area, we have bigger stalls, whereas trade two comprises the smaller stalls. And there is an open air area wherein stalls have been put up apart from the trade one and trade two. Let me also inform you that we have a toilet block in the adjoining building, the ground level and the first level. There are bio toilets on my right, your left behind, both for ladies and gents. There is facility of interpreters. We have translation available from English to Hindi and English to Marathi. So we have set up booths over here. I'm pointing out to the booths. You can pick up your receivers and go back to your places, place them on your ears and get the interpretation in the desired language. Mandari, thoda chwela ta pan karyakramala suruvat karna rahot sarvana vinanti ahe teni basun ghetse. Thoda chwela purvi malasa sangne talela ahe ki achcha karyakramat se mukhya atiti mananiya shri charat pavarji ansa agaman zalela ahe VSI madhe ani sadhyate pikanchi pratyakshika pahata ahe tyanantar jo एक्सिबिशन अपन भरवले आहे, तेज़ उद्घाटन करतील, आणि त्यानंतर मुख्य मंचावर यौन अपल्या उद्घाटन सोहराला शुरुआत होईल। एक सूचना हे, इन्फेक्ट दोन आहे, टॉयलेट ब्लॉक्स माझा डावी कडे, मतलब तुम जा उज्जवी कडे जी बिल्डिंग आहे, ग्राउंड फ्लोर वर्ती आणि पहिल्या मज़ले वर्ती, तड़मा� त्या बरोबरच माझा उज्जवी कडे तुमचा डावी कडे मागे बायो टॉयलेट सी व्यवस्था के लिए लिया है स्त्रियां सेटी यानी पुरुषां सेटी बायो टॉयलेट सी व्यवस्था के लिए लिया है सर्वानी तेजी नॉन गहेच्ये अंकिन एक महत्वाची सूचना आप लोग कडे इंटरप्रेटेशन ची सुविधा देखी लापने आवर्षी उपलब्ध करूं � त्याम मागे रिसीवर्स आहेत तो ते रिसीवर्स तुम घेर से आप अपने जागे वर जाऊँ बस आए थे यानी तुम हाला इंग्लिश मधुन जे इथे बोल ला जाइल ते मराठी मराठी भाषांतरित करूँ तुम हाला ते आई को येल तुम चाह है रिसीवर्स चत्रु तुम हाला मराठी जी इंग्लिश मधे इथे भाषण चालतील कुठे ओके ही ए रिसीवर सिकड़े आए थे तेरे हाथ वार करा मंडे सगाना पहाता ही। ही टीम जी आए, ही जी मूला मूलिया हैं। तंचकड़े रिसीवर सुपर लब्धा हैं। ते इंग्लिश मंडे जना मराठी मधे भाषण आए कई चीज़ अस्तिल की वह हिंदी मधे आए कई चीज़ अस्तिल। ते ते रिसीवर शा माध्यमातुन ते भाषण तर तुम्हाला आए कोई ही। ही सोई ही सु Attention ladies and gentlemen, we will commence in the next couple of moments. As informed earlier, our chief guest, Sri Sharad Pavarji, is already on the Vasandada Sugar Institute premise. A very warm welcome to you, sir. 
आदरणीय शरद पवार जी का आगमन हो चुका है बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका माननीय श्री शरद पवार आगमन है साहब आप स्वागत है सर्वानी स्थानापन्न वाव हि विनंती आ रिक्वेस्ट ऑल यू डिग्नेटरीज टू काइंडली टेक युअर सीट्स ऑन द डेज As informed to you earlier, Pawar Sahib has already paid a visit to the fields along with live crop demonstrations and has inaugurated the exhibition. And now we will commence the inaugural ceremony in the next couple of moments. Peak Pratyakshika Pahun, Pradarshana Cha Udghatan Karun. माननीय पवार साहेबांचं आगमन या ठिकाणी झालेलं आहे आणि अगदी काही क्षणातच आपण मंचावरील मुख्य कार्यक्रमाला सुरुवात करणार आहोत सर्वांनी बसून घ्यायचं आहे पुन्हा एकदा विनंती करते on channel 1 and english is on channel 0 i request all the governing council members to kindly step up on the stage mananiya amdar kiwa khasdar dekhil jar ani sthana panna vhaychay yes there is one correction regarding the interpretation All right. साढ़े तीन नंबर से चैनल आए हिंदी के लिए एक नंबर का चैनल है और एन इंग्लिश वी हैव ऑन चैनल जीरो नमस्कार A very good morning, everybody. On behalf of Vasandada Sugar Institute, it gives me manasi immense delight in extending a hearty welcome to all of you, especially the honourable guests, esteemed dignitaries seated on the dais, along with the members of the Governing Council, Vice Chancellors, distinguished speakers from across the globe, scientists, technologists, representatives of. print and electronic media sponsors all you invitees and delegates for this extremely special event the inauguration of international conference on sustainability innovation and diversification in sugar and allied industry this ladies and gentlemen as you know is the flagship event of vsi now in its second edition aaj ke karyakram ke liye upasthit sabhi ka main manasi teh dil se swagat karti hu mandali acha ya udghatan sohrala upasthit sarvancha visheshatah vyasapithavaril sanmananiya pahune manyavar ani mandapat upasthit sarvancha mi manasi sontakke manapurvak swagat karte aaj pasun 2 february paryanta तीन दिवस आंतरराष्ट्रीय परिषद प्रदर्शन आणि ऊस पीक प्रात्यक्षिकांच आयोजन वी एस आय ने के लिए साखर आणि पूरक उद्योग आंतरराष्ट्रीय नामवंत तज्ञांची व्याख्यान आणि मार्गदर्शन त्याबरोबरच अडीच हजारपेक्षा जास्त उद्योजक तंत्रज्ञ शास्त्रज्ञ उत्पादक आणि संस्था प्रतिनिधींची उपस्थिती असेल 
सर्वांसाठी हे प्रदर्शन विनामूल्य आहे आणि साखर उद्योग जाणून घेण्याची आणि अनुभवण्याची ही सुवर्ण संधी आहे आय विल इनिशियली रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल श्री दिलीप वळसे पाटीलजी वाईस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ ई एस आय ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर लेबर अँड स्टेट एक्सटाईज महाराष्ट्र स्टेट अलॉंग विथ बिंग द चेअरमन ऑफ द ऑर्गनायझिंग कमिटी ऑफ दिस कॉन्फरन्स टू काइंडली वेलकम आर गेस्ट बिगिनिंग विथ आर चीफ गेस्ट श्री शरदचंद्र पवारजी ऑनरेबल मेंबर अँड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ बी एस आय सर काइंडली ऍक्सेप्ट दिस बुक युअर फ्लॉर्स अलॉंग विथ अ स्पेशल मोमेंटो पुष्पगुच्छ आणि स्मृतिचिन्ह देऊन प्रमुख पाहुण्यांचं स्वागत करण्याची विनंती मी माननीय श्री दिलीप वळसे पाटीलजी यांना करते पवार साहेबांनी या पुष्पगुच्छाचा आणि हरकत नाही मी पाटील सरांना विनंती करेन की सुरुवातीला त्यांनी पंजाबमधनं आपल्याकडे खास पाहुणे आलेले आहेत श्री सुखजिंदर सिंग रंधावाजी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर को ऑपरेशन अँड जेल्स गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पंजाब स काइंडली ऍक्सेप्ट दिस बुक युअर फ्लॉर्स सम्मान का प्रतीक इन फुलों का स्वीकार हो चुका है आणि आता मी सरांना विनंती करेन की त्यांनी पवार साहेबांचं स्वागत करावं पुष्पगुच्छ आणि हा विशेष मेमेंटो अ स्पेशल मेमेंटो आदराचं आणि प्रेमाचं प्रतीक म्हणून या फुलांचा स्वीकार झालेला आहे त्यासोबतच हे विशेष स्मृतिचिन्ह थँक्यू मी वळसे पाटील साहेबांना विनंती करेन की त्यांनी श्रीयुत जयंत पाटील ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर इरिगेशन श्रीयुत बाळासाहेब पाटील ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर को ऑपरेशन अँड मार्केटिंग सहकार आणि पणन मंत्री महाराष्ट्र राज्य श्रीयुत बाळासाहेब पाटील यांचं स्वागत आहे अमित देशमुख नाही श्री शंकरराव गडाख ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर सॉईल अँड वॉटर कॉन्झर्वेशन महाराष्ट्र स्टेट महाराष्ट्राचे माननीय जल व मृदसंधारण मंत्री माननीय श्री शंकरराव गडाख यांचं स्वागत माननीय श्री जयंत पाटील साहेब यांचं देखील आगमन झालेलं आहे आम्ही त्यांचं देखील स्वागत करतो ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर इरिगेशन महाराष्ट्र स्टेट श्री जयंत पाटील श्री सतेज पाटील जी आय वुड रिक्वेस्ट नाव डॉक्टर मोहिते डॉक्टर मोहिते प्लीज डू दी ऑनर्स डॉक्टर मोहिते Shri Satesh Patil, Honorable Minister of State, Home Urban Maharashtra State. I would request uh, Dr. Indrajit Mohite to also welcome uh, Shri Dilip Vaisai Patil Ji. All right. Shri Vivek Pitti, President Isma, New Delhi. Dr. Jose Oribe, Executive Director, International Sugar Organization, ISO United Kingdom. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Request Dr. Mohite to now welcome Shri Jai Prakash Dande Gaukar, President Maharashtra Rajya Sahakari Sakhar Karkhana Sangha. विजय दादांचं देखील स्वागत करावं अशी विनंती मी डॉक्टर मोहितेंना करते आणि श्रीयुत हर्षवर्धन पाटीलजी वी ऑल्सो हॅव विथ आस कमिशनर शुगर आय वुड रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर मोहिते टू प्लीज डू दी ऑनर्स ऑफ वेलकमिंग हेम साखर आयुक्त आपल्या सोबत आहे त्यांचं देखील स्वागत आहे
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to now at this point Commissioner Agriculture, Krushi Ayukta Dekhil Upastita Hai, Tensa Dekhil Swagat, Shriyut Prakash Avade, Yansa Dekhil Swagat Ahe, Kallappa Vade, Yansa Dekhil Swagat Ahe, Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Shri Sukhjinder Singh Randhava Ji, would like to now felicitate our chief guest, Honorable Shri Sharad Pawar Saab, with a shawl. Can we kindly have the shawl, please? Adhaniya Sharad Pawar Ji ka swagat karenge yaha par shawl dekar bilkul bhartiya parampara ke anusar आदरणीय श्री सुखजिंदर सिंह नंदावा जी, जो कि पंजाब के सहकार तथा जेल मंत्री हैं। And now, Dr. Jose Oribe would like to present a very special painting to Honourable Shri Sharad Pawar Ji. So please accept this. This painting is all the way from his country. He has got it from uh, Guatemala. This is an artist from Guatemala who has painted this especially. And Dr. Jose would like to present it to Pavar Saab. An exceptionally beautiful painting. There it goes, as you can see. Anami Pawar Sahibana Vinanti Karte ki tenni Randhava Jin sa Smruti Chinna Devun Yathikani Tensa Satkar Karava. All right. Then one memento for Dr. Ose. That's done already. All right. मंडली भारतीय परंपरेनुसार दीप प्रज्वलित करो नता कार्यक्रम से उद्घाटन होए। भारतीय परंपरा के अनुसार दीप प्रज्वलित कर हम कार्यक्रम का उद्घाटन करेंगे। In keeping with the Indian tradition, we will commence by lighting the auspicious lamp. I request our chief guest, Honourable Shri Sharad Pawar Ji, to kindly do us the honours. I also request all other dignitaries to please join in. Pawar Sahib Anna ni tar manyavara na vinanti ahe ki teni samoryava. दीप प्रज्वलित करावा, दीपे न लोकान जयती, दीपस्तेजो मया हास्मृता, चतुर्वर्ग प्रदोदीपन, तस्मात दीप यजेत प्रिये। This couplet in Sanskrit translates, The lamp is luminous, its radiance grants victory, its light imparts dharma, artha, kama and moksha, that is, righteousness, prosperity, pleasure and finally emancipation. This is the significance of lighting a lamp, and hence, a lamp should be lit. Lamp, as we know, is also a symbol of knowledge. Jaisa ki hum sabhi jante hai, deep gyan ka prateek hota hai. Deep he nyanat sa prateek ahe, apan sarvat zanto. Moments to be treasured in the form of photographs. Sarvancha smaranat rati lase hikshan. Ani sarva manyavarani ata basundhya varshi vinanti. The lamp being lit, the session being inaugurated, I would request all the dignitaries to kindly take their seats. Ladies and gentlemen, three years ago, to be precise, on the 13th of November 2016, when the first edition of this conference was inaugurated, we had the fortune of having Dr. Jose Oribe as the keynote speaker even then. And we are very, very privileged to have him again in the second edition of this conference. I would call upon Dr. 
Jose Oribe, Executive Director, International Sugar Organization, ISO, United Kingdom, for the keynote address. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning to everyone. Um, first and foremost, I would like to thank VSI for its kind invitation to be here with you today and express uh, my honor to its president, Mr. Pawar, to the Honorable Minister of Cooperation and Jails of Punjab, a beautiful region we had the opportunity to visit with ISO some years back and hope to return to, and to all the honorable ministers from the state of Maharashtra, a, a unique place in my heart. Every time I come back, it's a warm feeling I have here in your beautiful state. Um, today, I am happy to be here with you and share the ISO's thoughts on the world market. I think we have a presentation, video, no? No video? Well, okay, then we'll go ahead with the power of the word. India is a world leader in sugar and a key member of the International Sugar Organization, playing an active role in key decision making and always ready to contribute its best wherever needed. I am grateful that ISO has had a productive and friendly relationship with all stakeholders in the India sugar family and applaud the way that you project a country position around the core issues facing us today. I would like to know if I am going to have the presentation up in the screen. No? No presentation? Keep going? Okay. India is a sugar giant, and those of you that know me um, know of my passion for football. And I was going to start my presentation today with some images about football. And when India, for the first time in 2016, competed in the under-17 tournament against Brazil. At that time, of course, Brazil prevailed. They are the king of football worldwide. Um, but we hope that that situation will be different in the future. Well. Regarding sugar production, for the four years starting 2016-17, India has boosted its production and its success is well recognized, elevating the nation to the world's biggest sugar producer in 2017-18 and 2018-19. This year, it's likely India will relinquish that leadership to Brazil, but it will be by the smallest of margins. And, well... I had other key producers in my slides, so I will continue. Looking at the production dynamics for the globe's top five producers, there's a really evident paradox. India has had a strong production trend upward, even if it's going to suffer a small fall off in 2019-20. Other producers in Asia have also boosted upward production trends, Thailand and China. And in stark contrast, Brazil's sugar production has remained steady. And we'll come to that, the reason, later on in my presentation. Am I going to have a presentation? No? Nothing on the screen? No? Where have you given that? It was sent. I have it here in USB, too, if you need it. Yeah. So, India is now also playing a key role in the world sugar export arena. Two consecutive seasons with substantially exceeding consumption have not only converted India into a large-scale exporter, but also made it the third largest supplier of sugar to the world market, elevating the nation from the fifth place it occupied previously. Thailand, and my friend Rangsit Hirangrat is here, it stands between India and Brazil in the position of its second place, and will likely hold that position for the time being. Similar to the production story, India is posting strong gains in export volumes, similar to Thailand. But obviously, Brazil's export tonnage 
is shrinking on the back of Renova Bio and other um, projects that we will dwell upon later. And the other two five, top five exporters, Australia and my home country, Guatemala, have shown solid performances but are growing very slowly. Now that we have put India into a global context, let's move to the global sugar market outlook. ISO is predicting a global sugar deficit of sizable proportion. We are currently looking at 6.1 million tons for the 2019 October 2020 year. This brings an end to a two year surplus phase that since 2017-18 has seen the accumulation of massive stocks and in consequence, world market prices at a low and at times unremunerative level for even the most competitive producers and exporters. The ISO forecast for a return to a global deficit this 2019-20 season incorporates expectations for lower crops in India, Thailand, and the United States. The deficit could blossom even further if crops in major Asian producers, including uh, China, come in below initial expectations. There we go. Could you please forward it to slide number eight? No? This is a slide on production, just to place you into context. My entire presentation will be available to all of you through BSI. And if you have any questions about it, we are at your service at ISO. This was going to be our global context where you got the producers, which I just referred to. We have the exporters. We have the industry in the global context. We have the world sugar balance. And now we are where I was. This is um, the ISO, as I said, is forecasting a return to deficit. Meanwhile, a major output is anticipated for Russia. The ISO anticipates a small rise of 550,000 tons for Brazil. And even so, Brazil remains the crucial driver to the market because of its ability to change from cane between sugar and ethanol production. Overall, we have a global production forecast to fall from 175.89 million tons in 2018-19 to 1.70.4 in the current 1920 year. On the consumption side, ISO sees global growth of 1.32% compared with a five-year average of 1.34%. And many in this room will recall that we at ISO in the early 2000s forecasted our consumption growth year on year hovering around 2%. Consumption has grown down and our expectations are that it will continue to descend based on the impact of the anti-sugar campaign and the wave of additional sugar taxes to supposedly fight obesity and diabetes it's manifesting itself in reducing or even negative growth in both total and per capita terms in a number of pivotal markets. This slowdown in consumption is a key changing component of the global sugar market and is already impacting trading flows. I don't need to tell you that if we as the industry and the sector remain quiet, we will continue to be hammered by this. In the measure we speak out about the importance that sugar has for 30, 50 million cane growers here in India and their families, and the contribution it makes to human nutrition, we will continue to get pummeled by those that have an interest in adversely affecting our sector. With regarding world sugar exports, will rise slightly to reach 58.5 million tons below the record we set in 2015-16. And the previous changes are in export availability from India, from Russia in the beat, and from the United Emirates, where increasing refining capacity has pushed up <coughs> their exports. 
A decrease in deliveries, small, by Thailand and de small declines by the EU, Pakistan, and Mexico will be significant. Developments in key are, are key in India. The key to export stability, despite lower output, is held in large part by your country. You are now the mover of the world market, and recent developments prove that view. The industry managed to increase exports in 1819. Only part of the exportable surplus was uh, shipped out. And we were discussing with some friends before we started the meeting how much more is India expected to export because that will determine where the world market goes. Turning to global imports, as currently predicted, the main changes from the previous year are in Iran, Morocco, and Egypt, but we expect an increase in purchases from the world market by the United Arab Emirates, the European Union, the United States, which has a really bad crop, and perhaps even Vietnam. As the predicted level are 58.6 million tons, world imports are expected to remain considerably smaller than the record of 66.3 we posted in 2015-16. I will briefly touch upon Brazil because my friends Jaime and Jose Luis will expand in greater detail and they have a great more property to talk about this than I do. But I've already noted that the diversified nature of the Brazilian sugar sector means that the vast majority of mills have integrated ethanol distilleries. This allows me, uh, mills to have a bigger joystick, to move from ethanol and determine their overall profitability by increasing scale production, extending their operating season, and the commercial arbitrage between sugar and ethanol. It's also important to mention that Brazil has launched what is now the most novel program in the world, Renova Bio. This is a program to encourage a further use of cane for the production of ethanol, cleaning up of air and emissions, and in general contributing to a more prosperous industry, but a healthier atmosphere for all Brazilians that breathe in their cities. This allocation, as you probably know, changed remarkably last year. Record high hydrous ethanol consumption generated more profit from the domestic ethanol market than sugar in the ISO. Turning to world sugar prices. No. Wow. Turning now to world sugar prices. The trajectory is often likened to a roller coaster. This graph shows the monthly prices since January 8th, and you can see that we have reached last year a 10-year low this was on the back of a surplus of global production and mainly from sugar produced in India, Thailand, the European Union, and several other countries. Prices rebounded modestly and are now trading at a range hovering 14 cents. Um, some of us were hoping before the event <laughs> that this would keep going up to 15. Uh, but we at ISO remain firm on fundamentals, and in the measure that we see strong signals for a sustained recovery in prices, then we will reflect it accordingly. But of course, price volatility is determined a lot by speculator activity. Um, this is going to sound blasphemous, but there are some of us that believe that speculation and hedge funds should be forbidden from basic commodities as they distort and erode the law of supply and demand, and generally conditions are produced that are not reflective of the best interest of producers in countries like India. You can see from this graph what the ICE contract number 11 futures look like, significant correlation to speculator activity. They have now moved from a large short position to a small long, in the past couple of months, and analysts are wondering if we'll see a same trend as in 2015, and prices will go up. 
going to touch briefly on prices because my friend Kirat Wadwana will touch upon details tomorrow. Uh, constructively, the projected global deficit indicates a fundamental move towards a reduction in global stocks that still overhang the market. So we've got a ending stocks consumption ratio going to be reduced from 55 to 50 percent, the lowest ratio since 2016-17 when the world sugar price was at 17.5 cents per pound. Wouldn't we love for thus things to return to that? A sizable global deficit sounds big after two years of, of surplus and there might be a temptation to conclude that prices will strongly rally in the coming months. However, the ISO believes that there should be caution for any improvements in world market values that go above 15 cents. This limited potential in parts reflect the fact that you in India have accumulated about 10, 8 to 10 million stocks for export, and in the measure that we manage to oxygenate those stocks, the market will reflect it. Uh, the deficit is also caused by an anticipated minimal sugar mix in Brazil's central south region. Any move towards higher prices runs the risk of that mix shifting again in favor of sugar and affecting the more fundamental picture. Given India's critical role in the world sugar market and its strong influence on the outlook, let's turn to the situation here in more detail. India's success in boosting sugar production is well recognized everywhere, elevating the nation to the biggest number one spot in 1819. Output has been up by 25% over a 10-year period due to attractive cane prices for growers that boost uh, yields and the cane varieties developed here at VSI and other institutes which have resulted in increasingly better yields and better adaptation to the climatic conditions that prevail here in Maharashtra and other sugar-producing states. Expectations for a production fall are confirmed this year, both by our friends in government and our friends in ISMA. Um, and we anticipate now that production will take a hit. Um, but that in 2020-21, you will be coming back up to normal. High reservoir levels, water. I was just talking to the Honorable Minister of Water and Conservation here in Maharashtra about the enormous challenge he faces. But water plays a key role, and high reservoir levels should allow ample irrigation of the standing crop and a good run for cane plantings. India's 120 main reservoirs held about 140 billion cubic meters of water as of December 19th, 48% more than a year earlier, and about 38% higher than the 10-year average according to government data. This is a boon for the cane crop and will help boost the acreage in major producing regions, in particular Maharashtra. Also producing other producing states will limit from, will benefit from the, these cane benefits. India looks very likely down the road to return to higher levels of production, and there's a potential also that any weather climatic incidents will affect its production. But its exporter status is not threatened. As I noted earlier, two consecutive seasons with production exceeding consumption have converted India into a very large scale exporter becoming a formidable competitor to the long-established countries. It should be noted that although India's exportable surplus in 2019-20 may shrink to less than 2 million tons compared to the 7 million in 1819, millers have started the new season with a considerable volume of stocks. This suggests that India's export prospects will be limited by the low level of world prices rather than the physical availability of sugar. Millers look to match returns from exports before exports are considered viable. India sugar mills during 1819 shipped about four to five million tons 
about 80% of the total export quota due to depressed international market conditions. The top three destinations for your sugar were Sudan, Bangladesh, Somalia, and Iran. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to move to a more focal point of my presentation and one that my friends here at VSI asked me to touch upon giving the title of this conference. Fuel ethanol diversification. With your surplus production weighing on domestic prices, fuel ethanol is now a shining opportunity for diversification for India's sugar millers. The globe's more competitive sugar nations have achieved considerable progress in diversifying their industries, particularly into green energies, in some cases other bioproducts, and in the cases of companies like Mitterpol into pharmaceuticals and many other pioneer areas. The VSI's theme for this conference, sustainability, innovation, and diversification in sugar and allied industry, couldn't be more perfect at testing time for many industries. Diversification is the core pillar to sustainability, and its case is compelling. It's essential for improving your resilience, uh, bulletproofing yourself against commodity cycles, and when predictable weather phenomena. Without diversification, the only road to long-term survival is in a single dimension industry is better by via ever increasing productivity gains. Value added diversification is a golden opportunity to broaden industry revenue and also do good for the environment. Brazil's industry is seen as a model of this. Thailand's industry is another large producer that has in recent years diversified into biomass power and bioethanol, which currently provides as much as 30% of industry revenue. So for all sugar industries, value diversification is an opportunity. India's advances, huge in cane bagasse electricity cogeneration capacity, are widely recognized. And it is now that sugar millers can explore securing a fuel ethanol market ahead of them. In 2009, India's biofuel policy envisioned and proposed an E20 blending target for 2017. Success in expanding the average national ethanol blend has always been limited, hovering around 4%, and the volatility of sugar production is the main culprit of this. Spurred by a pressing need to divert excess molasses and cane production, the Ministry of Petroleum and National Gas formally notified the National Biofuels Policy 2018, which is proposing an E10 blend target by 2022 and potential E20 target blending ethanol with gasoline by 2030. This policy announcement reaffirms the government's commitment and support for biofuels and diversification. The government clearly sees boosted ethanol production by the sugar sector as helping to address the burden of SX sugar stocks while at the same time lowering your import bill for fossil-based fuels. Ethanol in India has produced entirely previously from sea molasses, so in a bid to expand production from bee molasses, the government has stated that mills did not need to apply for an additional environmental license for its production. As further proof of its commitment, aside from providing soft loans for investment by millers in expanding capacity, the procurement price for ethanol from bee molasses has been increased, and ethanol produced from cane juice has also experimented a price increase. These higher ethanol values should bolster margins for sugar millers in this market. The higher price paid for bee molasses ethanol will divert growing volumes of sugar with a surplus of molasses, huge, I only limited amounts of ethanol from cane juice are expected to produce. So these stronger policy incentives to convert excess sugar to ethanol have seen fuel ethanol production and use increase strongly in 2019, and this trend should continue in the current year. The more robust ethanol policy by the government should help absorb high domestic stocks and supply glut in the Indian market. 
Having said that, we at the ISO are very clear and aware that there are some teething problems in implementing the new policy. For example, mills here in Maharashtra are concerned that oil marketing companies will penalize them in case they, follow, they fail to deliver the amount of ethanol contracted. Sometimes there is not sufficient cane, sometimes there's not a steady flow, sometimes you have a late harvest start, and sometimes permits are not forthcoming. All of these factors come into play when we look coldly, professionally, at what lies ahead for India and how it will tap into the many opportunities that lay before it. Allow me to finish by giving you some several take-home messages. India is a sugar giant with a string of record harvests that elevate the nation to the globe's largest producer in 2018-19. Great success on the production side means that the industry is easily able to, able to produce more sugar than needed locally. This massive surplus has seen the government provide incentives for millers to export in an effort to relieve price pressure. Exporting the surplus is also a double-edged sword because India's surplus forms part of the global stocks that overhang and dampen world sugar market price levels. So in the measure that we can all work together in oxygenating those stocks, we will all be better off. More importantly, the government and the industry are now working to ensure substantial use of cane juice and bee molasses in the production of fuel ethanol, a key diversification path for any sugar industry to ensure sustainability, and an obvious way to divert sucrose equivalent to ethanol. Finally, and back to my football, it is clear for me that India and Brazil will continue to vie for its new position as the globe's number one sugar producer, and perhaps someday in the future we'll see these two sugar giants vie for the number one position, the FIFA World Cup. I thank you very much. I wish you great success. Keep working together. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Oribe, for your valuable insights and the presentation comprising facts, figures, and detailed information that will certainly be beneficial to all present. And now, Honorable Randhavaji would like to present shawls to the rest of the dignitaries present on the dais, beginning with Honorable Sri Dilip Varse Patalji, Minister for Labor and State Excise, Government of Maharashtra, as also the Vice President of VSI and the Chairman of the Organizing Committee of this International Conference. Adaniya Randhavaji Shal Deun Manevaransa Yatikani Satkar Kartai. Next, Sri Baha Sahib Patil, Honorable Minister of Cooperation. Shri Shankar Rao Gadak, Honorable Minister of Water and Soil Conservation, Government of Maharashtra. Shri Satesh Patil, Honorable Minister of State, Government of Maharashtra. Shri Harshavardhan Patil. At yeah, this end, sir. All right, Dr. Jose Orive.
So please, if you could move here. He was a minister in the Maharashtra government earlier. Shri Vijay Singh Mohiti Patil, another ex-minister from Maharashtra we have on the dais. Please accept this felicitation from Shri Sukhjinder Singh Randhava Ji, Honorable Minister of Cooperation and Jails, Government of Punjab. And we have Shri Jayaprakash Dandegaukar Ji. And we have Mr. Vivek Pitti also. Can we have one shawl for Sri Vivek Pitti from ISMA, New Delhi? So that's Sri Vivek Pitti, President of ISMA, New Delhi, being felicitated by Sri Sukhjinder Singh and Dhawaji. Thank you. Thank you. I would request uh, Randhawaji, Honorable Minister for Cooperation and Jails, Government of Punjab, to now address this gathering on this extremely significant and equally happy and joyous occasion. Aaj ke zafsar par, main Adaniya Shri Sukhjinder Singh Randhawaji se anurod karti hoon ki is ahem aur saathi behat khushi ke zafsar par sabhi ko, sabhi upasthit janon ko sambodhit kare. Thank you. I feel pride today while visiting Maharashtra, the land of the great warrior, Shatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and also the land where our 10th Guru, Gobind Singh Ji, spent last years of his life. I pay my sincere regard to Honorable Sharad Pawarji, President VSI, my counterpart, Patil Saab, other ministers, delegates, present in the inauguration ceremony. I am Sharad Pahar Saab, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji came to Maharashtra, after that, after that, जहाँ से एक वारियर और गए थे पंजाब में बाबा बंदा सिंह बहादुर बंदा बरागी जी जिन्होंने जाकर हमारे गुरु के बेटे जिनको मुगलों ने दीवार में शहीद कर दिया था तो वहाँ जाकर जब वो नदेड़ में गुरु साहब को मिले बंदा बरागी जी तो उनसे बात हुई तो उन्होंने जाकर हमारे गुरु के बेटों का बदला मुगलों से लिया और मुगल राज की जो नीम थी वो पहले जो मराठियों ने जा मराठा जो थे उन्होंने जाकर पंजाब से मुगलों को हराया और वहाँ उन्होंने सिख राज का जो करंसी थी वो बाबा बंदा सिंह बहादुर ने जाकर रिलीज की आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू शिवाजी राव देशमुख डायरेक्टर जनरल वसंत दादा इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी ऑन द ऑकेजन ऑफ सेकंड इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड एग्जीबिशन ये मेरी सेकंड विजिट है आपके इंस्टीट्यूट की मैं पहले भी आया था और बहुत मैं इंस्पायर होकर गया हूँ आज पंजाब के किसान को ऐसे इंस्टीट्यूट जो बने हैं उनकी जरूरत है मेरे को पवार साहब बता रहे थे कह रहे थे कि हमारे पांच मिनिस्टर हैं जिनकी शुगर मिल्स हैं तो मेरा ख्याल कि इसीलिए जो महाराष्ट्र है उनका बहुत बड़ा काम है इंडिया में जो शुगर केन के लिए हम आप आप हमसे बहुत आगे हैं पंजाब में कॉपरेटिव मूवमेंट बहुत पहले स्टार्ट हुई पर कुछ वजह से जब टेररिज्म आ गया 
तो हमारा जो कॉपरेशन मूवमेंट थी उसको गिरावट आई फिर उसके बाद हमने अब स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं तो मैं इसलिए जहाँ आकर देखता हूँ क्योंकि मेरे फादर सेवेंटी टू में मिनिस्टर ज्ञानी जैल सिंह जी के साथ बने थे जो बाद में प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया बने तो उनके पास भी जो पहली मिनिस्ट्री मिली तो उस टाइम एग्रीकल्चर के साथ कॉपरेशन था तो मेरे पास अब इतने साल के बाद फिर कॉपरेशन डिपार्टमेंट आया और मैं चाहता हूं कि जो उस टाइम के लीडर कर के गए हैं तो मैं भी कुछ करूं तो आपने मैंने जैसे पहले बताया कि इंस्टीट्यूट जो आपका है जहां हमने बहुत कुछ मैंने देखा और उस टाइम भी हम काफ़ी मीटिंग्स करके गए द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पंजाब हैज़ आल्सो नॉमिनेटेड योर डायरेक्टर जनरल एंड अदर एक्सपर्ट्स ऑफ वी एस आई टू द ग्रुप ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स फॉर सुजेस्टिंग रिवाइवल ऑफ कॉपरेटिव शुगर मिल्स इन द स्टेट मेरे पंजाब में बख्शी राम जी बैठे हैं इनसे भी हम मीटिंग करते रहते हैं आई एम हैप्पी दैट डायरेक्टर जनरल वी एस आई एंड अदर एक्सपर्ट्स प्लेड ए वाइटल रोल इन द डेलीब्रेशन ऑफ द ग्रुप ऑफ एक्सपर्ट्स इन्होंने जो भी हमने पवार साहब जिन्होंने वहाँ हमारी मीटिंग जो ग्रुप ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स की थी और हमारे चीफ मिनिस्टर भी उस मीटिंग में आए तो वहाँ जो इनकी सजेशन हैं वो हमने काफ़ी हद तक इम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हैं और जो शुगर इंडस्ट्री पंजाब की है उसको रिवाइवल उसके कर रहे हैं ज़्यादा पंजाब में जैसे आपके यहाँ जो प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्री है वो किसान की है जो प्राइवेट शुगर इंडस्ट्री है वो किसानों के लिए काम कर रहे हैं तो हम भी चाहते हैं कि जो पंजाब के प्राइवेट शुगर मिलर्स हैं वो भी किसान के लिए काम करें और किसानों के लिए ही काम किया जाए मैं आज देख रहा हूँ कि जितने लोग जहाँ आ रहे हैं और एग्जीबिशन देखी है आपने तो ये ऐसे तो हर स्टेट में जहाँ जहाँ शुगर का है वहाँ इन स्टेट्स में एग्जीबिशन और ऐसे सेमिनार होने चाहिए ताकि किसान आज जो हिंदुस्तान का किसान है मैं तो बात पंजाब की बात करूँगा कि वहाँ से जो यूथ है वो सारा का पूरा का पूरा इंडिया छोड़ कर पंजाब छोड़ कर जा रहा है जब गाँव में जाते हैं मेरा ख्याल यूथ बहुत कम है हमारे पास जो वहाँ आकर काम करना चाहता हो मैंने पीछे एक मिल्क फेड भी मेरे पास है मिल्क फेडरेशन तो हमने एक सर्वे करवाया कि जो यूथ में जो मिल्क फेड है इसको कैसे आगे लेकर जाएंगे जो फार्मर्स हैं डेयरी फार्मर्स उनका क्या देखना चाहिए तो वहाँ एक मैंने जो सर्वे में आया कि दस साल के बाद नौजवान रहेगा नहीं पंजाब में जिनके फार्म हैं वो उनके जो पेरेंट्स हैं वो बूढ़े हो जाएंगे ओल्ड एज में चले जाएंगे और डेयरी फार्म जो है बंद हो जाएंगे ये हमें सोचकर रोकना होगा कि जो जो जिन अंग्रेज़ों को हमने बाहर निकाला हम वहीं जाकर उनकी नौकरी करना चाहते हैं उनकी नौकरी हमने छोड़ दी जब हमने हमने आज़ादी ली तो अब हम उनके नौकर बनकर रहना चाहते हैं इसलिए बहुत ये सोचने की बात है जो मैं इसलिए बात कर रहा हूँ पवार साहब आपकी इंडिया की जो पॉलिटिक्स है उसमें आपका बहुत बड़ा नाम है हम जब छोटे थे आप उस टाइम जब पहली दफ़ा आप चीफ मिनिस्टर बने तो उस टाइम आप कांग्रेस में थे तो मैंने मैं देखता रहा हूँ आप जब पार्लियामेंट में बोलते हैं जब आप एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर थे जो आपने काम किए आगे भी मेरे ख्याल ठीक रहेगा तो एक चीज़ हमें करनी होगी कि जो हिंदुस्तान का यूथ है उसके लिए कुछ करना पड़ेगा उसको कैसे रोकना है उसको कैसे उसके उनमें जब हम गांव में बात करते हैं तो लोगों के पेरेंट्स में और जूट में एक बात है कि इन सिक्योरिटी है कि इंडिया में रहकर हम क्या करेंगे क्या मिलेगा हमें ये उन उनके दिमाग से निकालना होगा और आज जहां मैं आया हूं आपके पास तो जो ऑल ओवर इंडिया शुगर केन इंडस्ट्री एंड फार्मर्स आर ऑल्सो फेसिंग क्राइसिस ड्यू टू द प्रवेलिंग मार्केट कंडीशन कंडीशन बहुत माड़ी है हमारी और जो केन ग्रोवर्स हैं तो उनके लिए बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स भी हैं और जो रेट वगैरह हैं ज़्यादा मेरे ख्याल में ज़्यादा हमें फोकस करना चाहिए जो मैं आज देख कर आया हूँ आपने मेरे को दिखाया थैंक यू ऐसी अगर फार्मिंग किसान करेगा तो भूखा नहीं मरेगा मेरे को ज़्यादा 2004 में आप पंजाब गए थे तो उस टाइम मैं एग्रीकल्चर में था एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर था पंजाब में तो आप गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया में मेरे ख्याल एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर थे तो आपके साथ मैं मिनिस्टर इन वेटिंग था पवार साहब के साथ तो मेरे साथ उन्होंने कोई पॉलिटिक्स की बात नहीं की 
पूरा का पूरा टाइम इन्होंने एग्रीकल्चर और फार्मर्स के ऊपर ही बात की और कोई पॉलिटिकल बात नहीं कि आप वहाँ आकर देखो हमारा महाराष्ट्र देखो ऐसा करो ये करना चाहिए आपको फ्रूट्स में आना चाहिए ऐसी बात अगर लीडर के और देश के नेता के पास हो तो कभी वो कंट्री फेल नहीं हो सकता मैं जो आज का सीनेरियो है इन दिस सीनेरियो द कोऑर्डिनेशन बिटवीन द शुगर कैन ग्रोवर्स एंड गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड पंजाब कैन प्ले मेजर रोल टू ड्राफ्ट फ्यूचर प्लानिंग इन शुगर कैन फार्मिंग एंड इंडस्ट्री टू कम ओवर द क्राइसिस द स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ शुगर इंडस्ट्री विल अल्टीमेटली बेनिफिट द शुगर कैन फार्मर्स एंड पर्सनली आई स्ट्रॉगली फेवर्स द स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ कॉपरेटिव शुगर मिल्स विच बींग ए पार्ट ऑफ द कोऑपरेशन मूवमेंट plays major role in rural economy as cooperation minister of the state which has leading role in the agriculture economy of the country i would request director general vsi and managing director sugar fed punjab to arrange interaction of the sugar cane growers and technocrats of maharashtra and punjab mere sath मैं अपने डिपार्टमेंट का मिनिस्टर ही नहीं आया हमारे शुगर फेड के एम डी भी हैं और मेरे जो शुगर मिल्स हैं उनके जनरल मैनेजर भी हम साथ लेकर आए कि यहाँ से देख कर वहाँ जा कर हम ये करेंगे आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट द ऑनरेबल श्री पवार साहब प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ वी एस आई एंड देशमुख जी डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट टू असिस्ट द कॉपरेटिव शुगर मिल्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब इन इंक्रीजिंग पर एक रील्ड ऑफ शुगर कैन एंड शुगर रिकवरी विच विल अल्टीमेटली एड टू द इनकम ऑफ द शुगर कैन ग्रोवर्स एंड शुगर फैक्ट्रीज द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कॉपरेशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पंजाब इज फोकसिंग ऑन द शुगर कैन डेवलपमेंट स्पेशली द सीड डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम फॉर विच असिस्टेंस ऑफ वी एस आई एक्सपर्ट्स टू डू रिक्वायर्ड एंड आई होप वी एस आई विल हेल्प द फार्मर्स एंड शुगर फैक्ट्रीज इन द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब इन कोलेबरेशन विद कॉपरेटिव शुगर फैक्ट्रीज इन द स्टेट इन द लास्ट आई अगेन थैंक्स द डायरेक्टर जनरल वी एस आई फॉर इन्वाइटिंग एस टू दिस प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट विच विल नॉट ओनली ऑलो एस टू हैव इंट्रैक्शन विद स्टेक होल्डर्स इन द अदर स्टेट बट ऑल्सो अस एज ए लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट्स इन द शुगर इंडस्ट्री एंड शुगर कैन कल्टिवेशन एट द नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल लेवल मैं दोबारा आप सबका बहुत आभारी हूँ आपने जहाँ बुलाकर पंजाब को खास करके जो हम कभी कहते थे कि पंजाब लीड करता है एग्रीकल्चर में तो आज वहाँ का फार्मर ऐसा फील करता है कि जैसे एग्रीकल्चर का जो हम लेकर आए थे तो हमने गलती की हम दिखाना चाहते हैं कि अगर 80 परसेंट इंडिया का जो लोग हैं वो एग्रीकल्चर पर डिपेंडेंट है उनको फिर उनके में एक इनसिक्योरिटी की जो आ गई है उसको दूर करने के लिए महाराष्ट्र और पंजाब मेरे ख्याल ये सबसे पहले ये लीड कर सकते हैं किसानों के लिए कि नहीं हम हम इनसिक्योर नहीं सिक्योर हैं और पंजाब और महाराष्ट्र के अगर लीडर और किसान इकट्ठे हो जाएं जैसे आपकी मूवमेंट्स हम देखते हैं जब कोई कोई करते हैं कि काम करते हैं जैसे पैदल यात्रा आपकी चलती है तो मेरा ख्याल के ऐसे हमें ड्रास्टिक स्टेप्स और किसानों के लिए जो सुसाइड है वो नहीं होना चाहिए किसान तो बहुत मजबूत अरादे का है पर देखता है जब उसके पास कुछ नहीं है तो सरकार भी बेबस है तो हमें चाहिए कि दोनों स्टेट्स को आगे आकर किसानों की जो मांग है उनको इकट्ठा जाकर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के साथ बात करनी चाहिए और उनकी जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनको सॉल्व करें मैं फौर साहब आपका बहुत आभारी हूँ कि मेरे को आप जैसे लीडर से आज मिलने का मौका मिला और मैं बहुत भाग्यशाली हूँ कि आपसे जो लेकर जाऊँगा पंजाब जाकर इन चीज़ों के ऊपर इम्प्लीमेंट करेगा और हम जल्दी आपको भी वहाँ बुलाकर तो अपने किसानों को जो महाराष्ट्र में काम हो रहे हैं उनके लिए बुलाएंगे और उनसे इंट्रैक्शन भी करेंगे दोबारा मैं आप सबका बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूँ जय हिंद and i would now invite our chief guest shri sharad pawar ji honorable mp and president of vsi for the inaugural address mananiya pawar sahebani sarva upasthitanna margadarshan karava shri mitanna vinanti karte sardar sukhinder singh minister of commerce and government of punjab जयंत पाटिल 
Minister of Education, Welfare Party, Minister of Cooperation, Shankar Gurak, Minister of Maharashtra Government, Satish Party, Minister of State and Government of Maharashtra, Maharashtra's former Deputy CM, Vijay CM Munita Party, former Cooperation Minister, Harshwardhan Party, Manjpal Vaitreve Sabi Sati, Vainor Vayu. I'm extremely happy to welcome you all to this international conference. This is the second conference which has been organized by VSI in VSI's premises. This conference, along with exhibition, is going to cover from agriculture to processing, co-generation, byproducts, such as alcohol, biofuel, ethanol. What is distinguished this conference, it is the organization who is going to organize this conference is Vasandada Sugar Institute, which has been set up by sugarcane farmer. The theme of the conference is sustainability, innovation, and diversification in sugar and allied sector. Underline the need for the research and application for the sustainable development, which is aimed through the innovation and diversification in the entire sugar and allied sector. At this juncture, I remember this institution is a unique institution which has been set up by farmers. About two decades back, there was a visionary leader who always thought for farmers, Vasandada Patil. He and his colleagues decided to set up this type of organization, and ultimately they succeeded to set up this organization, which is helping the sugar cane farmer, sugar industry, and many other sectors related to sugar. Mr. Satyarthi Chandran, who today to us again says that he can be welcomed to the United States, until the state fathers were to do so, and he is proud. Vasan Dada Sugar Institute has been in the United States. The first Bavis Desha Che Fatini Di, this conference has been served. And Sakar Danda, the Chattar Saushodhan, Us Ani Us Pikatri Dvadal, Usha Chavati Fakriya, अंत्या फकाची वेगवेगळी दावेनं या सगळ्या गोष्टीचा विचार करणारी ही संस्था शेतकऱ्यांनी उभी केलेली आहे ऊस उत्पादकांनी उभी केलेली आहे आणि संपूर्ण देशाच्या साखर धंद्याच्या संबंधीचा विचार करण्याच्यासाठी जगातल्या या क्षेत्राच्या ज्ञानी लोकांची मदत आणि सल्ला घेऊन पुढे जाण्याच्यासाठी आज या ठिकाणी अपन सगले जन एकत्र आट इज कम्स टू द रियल कंच वॉट सेट इन साइंटिफिक ऑर्गनाइजेशन अफार आर द कटिंग एज रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट एबिलिटी टू डिलीवर टू मेक डिफरेंसेस स्किल टू मोर ऑप्शन एंड टू एक्ट एज अ कैटेलिक इन द इंडस्ट्री 
these qualities are inherent in VSI from empowering chain followers to exploring new frontiers of the science and technology, from holding public opinion to providing a platform for the all segments of the sugar and allied industries, no organization other than VSI has done so much work for sugar industry. In the natural consequences, the Institute stays ahead and keeps abreast of latest development in the field of the science and technology. It remains relevant to the evolving needs of the sugar and allied industries and also stays focused on the needs of the sugarcane growers. All disciplines connected with the sugarcane, sugar, and byproduct function in the coordinated manner under the one roof in this organization. The institution withstood the test of time and moved from strength to strength, emerging stronger by successfully in facing multitude challenges. In India, about 50 million farmers are engaged in the sugarcane cultivation. On the area of 5 million hectares, and sugar industry has become instrument in transforming the rural environment by bringing about the positive social economic change to improvement in rural livelihood educational and medical facilities, and infrastructure like transport and communication. The estimated demand for the sugar in the country 2025 will be around 30 to 33 million tons. Taking into consideration the national commitment to the food security and requirement of land for the food grain crops, they are concerned to increase the area under sugarcane. Thus, this demand can be met only by increasing productivity per unit of land and increasing sugar recovery. The Indian sugar industry is affected by the phenomenal cyclical sugarcane cultivation required assured water, the major area of the country, depends on monsoon, and its vagaries of monsoon include uncertainty, uneven distribution, variation occurrence, and dry spell for the long duration. Uncertain behavior of the weather as a result of the climate change has also contributed occurrences of hazardous space and diseases. Sustainable irrigation assumes a greater challenge. All these issues need to be analyzed and appropriate measures will have to be taken by the sugar industry to thrive profitability for the growers and mills. The central government has undertaken steps for the deregulation However, the sugar industry is still governed by the government policies, such as the fixation of cane price, area reservation, export and import, and ethanol vending. The sugar cane farmers and his well-being is paramount importance in the sugar industry. However, the consumer is also equally important. The central government fixed FRP for the sugarcane, which is a mandatory, but there is no assurance of the sugar price, which makes it extremely difficult to ensure timely payment to the grower. The price below the level of the production costs results in huge cane areas. Now is the time to arrive at the associate solution for the growth and millers to work a coordinated manner 
for the development of this sector. In August gathering, it is a profit to highlight the important issues before the sugar industry. One, stagnant yield of the sugar cane per hectare is around 70 tons, where the potential yield is more than 250 tons per hectare. The industry will have to work to bridge this gap. Two, the average sugar recovery is stagnant to 10.5 percent, where it can improve up to 11.5 11 11 to 10 percent. In this area, research organization has to play a proactive role, and the government will have to support the researchers to develop varieties with a high yield and high sucrose content. Three, a robust extension mechanism in the needed. There should be strong linkage between the research institutions, sugar mills, and growers for ensuring effective transfer of latest technologies in the sugarcane cultivation to enhance the highest productivity. Four, the application of chemical fertilizer has endangered soil health. Immediate steps and plans of the action for the integrated use of the chemical, organic, and biofertilizers we have to be prepared. Otherwise, there is a danger of the soil is going to thrive. Five, water use efficiency is another area, not to say only water, but to enhance the quality of cane and help conserve the soil fertility. Six, the central government has encouraged production of ethanol by giving reasonable price for ethanol. However, industry needs substantial financial assistance for the installation to ensure production of the ethanol as a major contribution to the energy sector of the nation and to minimize the dependence of the petrol import. Seven, with the advanced biotechnology, nanotechnology, molecular technology, next generation genome and transgenic technology, it has to ensure that these potential technologies are used in the development of varieties that can come back drought, salinity, waste, and disease, and to enhance productivity. Eight, to see the replacement ratio in the sugarcane is very poor and affect both the yield and recovery. Therefore, quality seed material needs to be used, and the seed replacement ratio should be M at least 30% means for every three to four years, seed should be replaced. Nine, India and not major exporters of the sugar or major imports of the sugar. However, India will have to create its own position in the international market for steady and stable sugar export. Ten, steps will have to be taken to strengthen research institutions and direct communication between these organizations in the current digital world for the well-being of the growers, manufacturers, and consumers. Eleven, lastly, but most importantly, the present investment in the research is very poor. And unless research activities are increased, the sugar industry may not be able to meet the future demand of the sugar, ethanol, and energy. Research institutions need to be managed by scientists and technologists with a fluent expertise, and they should be given free hand to do their whole activity work. I'm really happy that the conference has received 
Work learning is formed from the research scholars, scientists, chain growers, manufacturers, and research organizations across the globe. I'm happy that the distinguished speakers, more than 22 countries and 34 speakers from India, are to be delivered lectures. And this is a great opportunity for every participant to share the benefits of their knowledge and expertise. It is my pleasure to welcome participants, eminent scholars, researchers, and technology providers from Australia, Belgium, Brazil, China, Egypt, France, Indonesia, Ireland, Japan, Philippines, Spain, Sri Lanka, Thailand, South Africa, Switzerland, United Kingdom, United States of America, and other countries, and from India. I'm confident that all the participants will benefit from this conference, conference sugar expo, and live crop demonstration. The deliberation and discussion in this conference regarding the issues before the industry will conceptualize and will pave a way forward for the future effort. Wish you very happy and comfortable stay during your conversation. Thank you very much. अच्छा प्रसंगी आपन आपले विचार मानले पवार साहेब वी आर एवर ग्रेटफुल फॉर योर इंस्पिरेशन एंड नाउ द वोट ऑफ थैंक्स विल बी प्रपोज बाय श्री दिलीप से पाटिल ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट बीएसआई एंड मिनिस्टर फॉर लेबर एंड स्टेट एक्साइज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र on the occasion of second international conference and uh, exhibition 2020 as a vice president of vsi i wholeheartedly thank you all and the distinguished dignitaries present on the dais speakers of the international stretcher delegates and sponsors those who participated in this conference. I am really grateful to Sri Sukhinder Singh Randwaji, Honorable Minister for Cooperation and Jails, Punjab State for accepting our invitation and addressing the August gathering. I am thankful to Mr. Dr. Jose Oriwe, Executive Director of International Sugar Organization, UK, for his excellent keynote address. I am grateful to Honorable Sri Sharad Chandraji Pawar Sahib, Honorable President of VSI, for honoring this event as a chief guest and his valuable guidance for arranging this conference. I thank Mr. Jayant Patil, Honorable Minister for Water Resources, Maharashtra State, Sri Balasai Patil, Honorable Minister for Cooperation and Marketing, Maharashtra State, Sri Shankara Gadak, Honorable Minister for Soil and Water Conservation, Sri Satesh Patilji, Honorable Minister of State Home, Maharashtra, Sri Jay Prakashji Dandegaukarji, President Maharashtra State Sugar Federation, Mr. Vivek Pittiji, President Indian Sugar Mills Association, ISMA, Sri B.B. Thomreji, President of Western India Sugar Mills Association. Also, I thank our uh, members of the Board of Trustees and members of the Governing Council of VSI, Sri Vijay Se Mohite Patil Ji, Sri Indrajit Mohite Ji, Sri Arvind, Arvind Rao Gore, Sri Kallapanna Awade, Sri Arun Lad, 
श्री हर्षवर्धन पाटिल श्री मदन दादा भोसले श्री अशोक पवार मेंबर्स ऑफ द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड श्री चेतन तुपे मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड डॉक्टर अशोक धवन द वाइस चांसलर ऑफ वसंतराव नाईक मराठवाडा कृषी विद्यापीठ परभणी अँड डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ द व्हाईस चान्सलर ऑफ महात्मा फुले कृषी विद्यापीठ राहुरी आय वन्स अगेन ऑफर माय सिन्सिअर थँक्स टू ऑल अवर स्पॉन्सरर्स फॉर स्पॉन्सरिंग दिस ग्रँड इव्हेंट अँड ऑल द डेलिगेट्स फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग अँड मेकिंग दिस इव्हेंट फ्रुटफुल थँक्यू व्हेरी मच थँक्यू टू ऑल द प्रेस मेंबर्स थँक्यू आभार प्रदर्शनाबाची सांगता झालेली आहे ऑन दॅट नोट वी कन्क्लूड द इनॉग्रल फंक्शन लेडीज अँड जेंटमन वी हॅव अरेंज लंच इन सेपरेट एरियाज राईट बिहाइंड द स्टेज आय हॅव इन्स्ट्रक्शन्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल द व्ही आय पी पास होल्डर्स देर इज अ सेपरेट एनक्लेव अनदर एनक्लेव इज फॉर द डेलिगेट्स राईट इन द मिडल अँड ऑन दिस साईड फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द गेस्ट so this will be for the vips right behind is for the delegates and in the corner will be for the guests kindly proceed to the designated lunch area and do reassemble for the technical sessions the technical sessions will happen right here and some of the parallel sessions will happen in the auditorium of the institute please take note thank you all